is a round fish, and one has got an eye on each side of its head. Typically, when you get a when you get a whole fish, if you didn't catch it yourself, they'll typically take the guts out for you. Not always, but you want to check. Um, sometimes they'll leave it in, so you have to buy it, so it's wait that they can sell you. You also want to check to see if it's scaled. You can ask your purveyor to get to scale it for you, but every time they do something for you, it costs you more money. I'm gonna show you guys how to scale your fish pretty easily. Scaling a fish is very messy. They go everywhere and it's irritating. Uh, so pro tip, get yourself a bag and do it in the bag. You don't need a special tool for this. All you need is your knife. You can just take your knife and run it along there. But you see already how they're jumping out? That's why you wanna go in the bag. And you wanna use a clear bag so you can see what you're doing. But now you can see, you can just take your knife. I don't know how well that's coming through, but you can take your knife and just run it along here and get all these scales off. You just wanna make sure you get them off of every part of the fish. This is only necessary if you're gonna serve the skin on the fish. If you're gonna take the skin off, skip this step. We're pretty scaled, and all of our scales are in this bag, rather than on me or on the table. We've got all the scales off. It's all about working smarter, not harder. I have another fish I'm gonna scale real quick. It might might seem a little tedious doing that in the plastic bag, but trust me, when you're not cleaning up all these scales, you'll thank me. I went ahead and rinsed these with cold water just to get the scales off of them. Now, this one, meanwhile, I wiped the side of the serve, uh, the side of the save, because we're gonna roast this hole one day. So I'm gonna show you how to play this guy. Pretty straightforward concept. So the musket, the skeleton structure, there's a, essentially a flat bone that runs through here. The ribs and all that. So you wanna start right here. You wanna cut into it and you're gonna feel the bones. And you just wanna follow the bones the whole way down. I'm getting off the fillet and then up here I would try to cut as close to the head as possible so I can maximize the amount of fillet that I'm getting off of here because once again as with any any product you want to maximize your yield so then I lift up the fish I will cut it down here too I'll cut it under the the fin make this cut right up here like that and then I will take this. And you're gonna have to cut through pin bones right here. And then we're just gonna start taking it apart from this side. Again, there's this little bone right here that bumps up. So you gotta follow that go around it, go above it, go over it, so you don't mess up your filleting. We'll come back to that trimming that later. On a round fish, you're only gonna get two fillets off of it. So again, we're gonna start here. Oh, there's that bone right there, watch that. I'm gonna do the same thing. We're gonna cut in, we're gonna cut into the backbone. And you wanna follow, let me turn it around. You wanna follow the bones. Cutting through that, if you're cutting through the bones, you're going too deep. You just want to follow the bones. So I'm going to start down here, 
like a little cut in here because I felt like I was going behind the bones and you don't want to do that. And again, Separated the fillets from the fish. Now this this uh, carcass is good for making fumé. I've got to clean this up a bit more. All right, right here there tend to be some bones. If you cut, if you cut along the ribs, so you want to go right under that, go right under those bones and cut that off. Now you got your fillet. We're just going to clean it up a little bit back here. Now I'm going to leave the skin on this one because I want This is a good fish to serve with skin on. So again, you see how there's the ribs right here? They remove these bones. The rib bones. But as you can see here, this side has a lot of pin bones. These are the bones that attach it but these all gotta come out. I'm using needle nose pliers, because I think they work the best for me in getting these out. And you can just feel them. And you want to keep taking them out until they're all gone, until you don't feel them no more. So they're right around there. I don't feel any more. So the inside of the fillets, and then this is the skin side. And you want your, ideally your skin is going to cover your entire fillet. So as you can see here, we have our filleted fish. We got our carcass that we're going to save for doing uh, fish stock. And we have our nice fillets that are ready to go. So there you go, guys. And uh, keep on learning. Hey guys, looking for more? Looking to up your cooking skills? Then be sure to click subscribe so you can follow me while I break down techniques, dish out succulent tips, and show you a variety of recipes for you to learn from so you can not only keep on eating, but eat deliciously. Check out some of the other videos I got for you guys to watch.